up everybody, it's Mike, coming to you from Asbury Park, where I'm going to check in on local spray paint and stencil artist, Doug Z. He's featured all around town and does great work. Let's see what he's got for us today. Hey Doug, how are you? Good, good. Very cool, very cool. So is this the infamous studio? This is the infamous studio for now. I normally work outside, but it's a little arctic out being in February and all. Mm -hmm. Nice, so. nice. So uh, what, do you, what do you got going this week in the studio? Uh, this week, I just wrapped up some cover artwork for a local artist, a musician, Stringeen, and his band The Stalkers. I did uh, the front album cover, the inside album art, and the back album cover. Some books I'm working on, it's like a little collection, it's a run of ten, uh, smaller stencils, and then one that I'm doing for Valentine's Day, I'm doing a run of five paintings of those, and that stencil took a while to do, so. Oh, uh, awesome, awesome. Should be interesting to check out. So. Well, we'd love for our audience to be able to see you, you know, fully uh, go through the process of your painting. Is that okay if we use this stencil over here to, to just go right with Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Alright, awesome. Let's get to it. Cool. Well, how would you uh, describe your art for someone who's not really familiar with stenciling and, and spray painting? Uh, there's a process to it. It's kind of like, um, I kind of relate it to graffiti meets screen printing, layers and spray paint mixed together kind of thing. That's the basic, easiest way to explain it. And about how long does it take for you to set up one of these stencils? Anywhere from one hour to a couple of days, depending upon the uh, layers and intricacy of the stencils. Pretty much everyone and everything around me keeps me inspired. I just, you know, I'm inspired by everyday life and just the people that I'm surrounded by. Nice. So what was the first thing that you actually painted that made you really step back and say, wow, I want to do this for the rest of my life? There was never really just one thing for me. It's just been a gradual flow that I've always just some kind of somehow gone with. And it's never been a choice, never been a doubt about it in my mind. Just always felt like the right thing to do. So it's never been one thing, just a series of events. Nice. At uh, what age you, would you say that you, you started painting? Uh, in grammar school. Nice. Started painting nice. and getting more and more into it as time went on. So, so I have to ask you, why Asbury Park? I mean, what about this town inspires you, you know, not only as a person, but as an artist? Well, I grew up a couple towns away, and I've always been drawn here, and I've always done shows here, and then it just so happens that I had a chance to move here and work here. So it was just, in, like I said, natural flow. I just got led here, and this is where I'm at. So. Nice. That's very cool. So, I mean, do you have any other interests that, that stem not only for, you know, your love of the arts, but, but from Asbury Park? Any, any interests that, that also stem for this area? Um, yeah, a lot of my interests stem from this area, but a lot that stem from art or music, you know, playing in bands here and there, um, reading, writing. I write occasionally for the Tri-City News and, you know, for my own pleasure and whatever else. But, um... Pretty much it. Everything that I do stems from art in some way or shape or form. So how can how can everyone come and see your work? Do you have anything that's upcoming? Any any events or anything like that? I'm trying to keep the events page on my site up to par, okay. you know, so that way that people can check out what I'm doing there or at Beckman's AP on Bangs Avenue. Cool. I always have new stuff going up like every couple of weeks or whatever, and can people who can check in there, you know, DougZArt.com. Awesome. Thanks so much, Doug. It's, it's been a great day. Thank you.